For some reason, T doesn't seem so trustworthy anymore. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 17 of Supernatural Season 12. And this episode was a mixed bag. More so in the positive, though. The first off thing I'd say is that they brought back the Death Girl from Season 11, which I actually was pretty surprised. Mainly because she had a really good episode back in Season 11. It was a filler episode, but it was an episode that still focused on the relationship of the brothers and how they deal with their current day things, and if anything, it reflected on their entire lives. And she had a really cool family history, and her character is a really cool person. So the fact that they brought her back into this episode was really cool. I like that. I think that's really cool that they were, especially the fact that she is what she is, is really cool to see someone like that featured in a show. We also saw more of a moral ambiguity with Mitch from the, uh, the Men of Letters to a point where it came to a standoff with him and his own people. While that's going on, they are also hunting down Claire, or whatever her name is, with the Nephilim, the Lucifer's baby, who is still being protected by Dagon. All the while, Lucifer is, like everyone freaking predicted, working under Crowley's claws, and he's finding a way to get out. However, the one thing that they don't, he can't figure out how to do is get off the warnings that basically make him Crowley's bitch. But he is still trying to work away from that. All that whole storyline really kind of proves is what we already know is that Crowley thinks that he's on top of Lucifer, but Lucifer's still trying to work his way out from under him. So that wasn't really, there's nothing really happened there. That was some cool dialogue, it was a really cool moment where he's addressing the demons in accordance with what Crowley wants him to do, but really he's giving them a mixed message. I thought that was funny. But the main story is going after the baby, and if anything they actually grab her at one point, but then there's a crossfire, and Dagon is able to disappear while Le, uh, Claire, Celine, uh, the Death Girl, shoots one of Mitch's Men of Letters guys. And Mitch is put into a predicament because he's currently going through a little bit of PTSD with the fact that he was ordered by his headmistress to kill his best friend when he was a child. And this is something that's kind of worked its way into how he's viewed each situation up until this point. However, prior to meeting the brothers, he was on the straight path, but the brothers have obviously kind of knocked him astray. It's a very similar situation to how Cass was when he was first introduced. Someone actually commented on that in the previous episode review. And yeah, this is, his arc is totally like Cass's. For one simple, unfortunate change. Later on in the episode, we see that the headmistress, Mrs. whatever her name is, Mrs. Umbridge, I'm going to call her, she comes and meets with Mitch and says, that's it, we're done, we're going to kill all the American hunters. Again, this storyline, I don't like it because it's dumb in my opinion, I don't understand, this is just so sim this is conflict for the sake of conflict rather than actual conflict. But besides that, Mitch actually makes a stand, and he says, you know what, fudge you, I'm gonna do what I think is right, and that's what Sam and Dean, Blech! Mr. Catch kills him, and I actually did not see that coming. I thought they were gonna lock him up or some garbage like that, but no, they actually straight up booed him. Oh, by the way, Mary slept with Mr. Catch, yeah, that, again, that's another storyline, like, holy crap, they're really using that mom bring being back god that storylines is going nowhere however everything that happened with mitch was actually really cool and i'm actually now sorry to see him go he was a cool character in the end at first he was kind of annoying and kind of just i don't know just the embodiment of what i've not liked about this season but he was starting to make a change, and not just because he was getting on the brother's side, but he actually was becoming a multifaceted character. And now that's been completely thrown out the window, and now we're gonna be men of bitch, men of letters are bad for the sake of being bad. So, I don't like the overall arc, and I don't like what this is leading up to for the season finale, but I have to admit, the character obligations with the Death Girl, with Mitch, those were cool. 
So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I think it was a fun time. There were some cool character elements. It's leading into this story arc that I think is just going to completely fall on its freaking face. But otherwise, it was a good episode. I'm sorry to see Mitch go. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.